Hello everyone and welcome to another sponsored video by Gwinnie Bee! Yay! I love Gwinnie Bee. I think it is a great, great service. So anytime they contact me asking me to do like a lookbook or something with some of their new pieces that they've got, hands down, A-OK -okay with that for me. They're a company that I trust. They're a company that, you know, I hear about all the time. I think the service that they provide is wonderful for anyone who is plus-sized. They do have sizes anywhere from 10 to 32, and basically if you haven't heard of Gwinny B, they are a clothing subscription service type of a thing. So it's kind of like a clothing rental or clothing try-on at home, see if you like it, and if you don't, send it back, get something new. They've got different, like, brackets that you can sign up for, so they've got, you know, their cheapest plan which will get you a certain amount of clothes at a time and then they've got a more expensive plan which will get you more clothes at a time it's not that that clothing is like how many you would get per month it's just how often do you end up sending your clothes back how long did you keep them etc etc so you know essentially you just go on and shop around on their website and then you would do like you would do on any other website or at least what I do is you just like save things into your wish list like oh I wish I could have that wish I could have that but on Gwinnie Bee it's called your closet so you just save things to your closet and then Gwinnie Bee will send those pieces out to you that you liked sporadically you know depending like I said on how many pieces you can get at a time. The thing that I like the best about Gwinnie Bee is just being able to try out a bunch of different brands you know they've got tons of different brands on their site and you know different styles from that brand and everything so maybe you'll find a brand that you haven't heard of that you end up loving maybe you know of the brand already and you love them but you know maybe it's something like I feel like City Chic is a brand that like I really like but a lot of the stuff that I like from them they're like occasion pieces so like yeah I would like to have that piece but like I'm only gonna wear it once so do I really want to spend the money on it to own it and eh, not so much but this way with Gwinnie B you know you can rent hello you can rent the piece and wear it that one time that you need it and then that is that you send it back and then you get something new so this this video Gwinnie B wanted me to show you guys how I personally transition pieces from summer to fall now that we are moving into that season. It is chilly here in Minnesota. I mean this morning when I went out it was like 39 degrees or something already so uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a very cold winter. But yeah we also have very hot summers in Minnesota you know we get up into the 90s 100 degrees type of a thing. I've seen anywhere up to 110 here so we definitely do get the extremes so I do like to think that I'm quite good at being able to transition my pieces and wearing pieces in summer but also wear them in winter and etc etc. So let's just hop on into the transitional pieces here. I will show you guys what I picked out this time around and then I will just see you at the very end of the video. So I'll see you all soon but you'll be keep seeing okay bye <laughs> All right, you guys, so to start off, I'm going to actually show you the blouse that I was wearing in the intro. This is a beautiful sheer floral blouse, and I really like it. The pattern is such that you can definitely transition it into a fall piece, and I love that the tie on the back is actually functional. It's not just for detail. You know, it actually will cinch in your waist if you want it to, and I also love how swoobity boop bop flouncy this is. I love that it's a high-low. I just love the details and the way that this blouse lays. So for summer, I paired it with this beautiful mint geode-esque necklace. I just love that pop around the neck and then I also paired it with a super bodycon little skirt here. I love the way that flouncy blouses look over tight bodycon skirts like this. I just think it's a really cute silhouette and on bottom I just wore some of my favorite strappy sandals. You can see I trip over myself all the time where they're worn out on the toes but these are great sandals. I've given them a lot of love and they're perfect for the summertime. So here you go. Because the blouse is sheer you know I can definitely wear it in the summer but to transition it into the fall I threw on this beautiful cardigan that I got from Gwinnie B. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is so like 
heavy in the best way. Like it just feels so warm and comforting. I love the detail of the knit, how it like folds up at the top. It's just really cute. So I paired that with the same blouse and I also put on some distressed denim. Oh, but you guys, the sweater, the sweater. <laughs> I'm so obsessed. It's seriously so comfy. It was nice and soft. The pockets are big and beautiful and I just love that sweater. And at the bottom, I just cuffed up my jeans and put on some cute strappy flats. And that is about it for this outfit. So you can see how I transitioned that sheer floral blouse into the fall here by adding this cardigan and just different shoes, different jeans, bottoms, whatever makes a difference. So moving on, I have got this beautiful dress, you guys. It is so pretty and just made me feel like a beautiful woman. It's that perfect like heavy material so that it holds its shape and it just makes it really swingy with the pleats and everything. And I love dresses and skirts with that little peekaboo mesh at the bottom. I think it is such a sexy but still tasteful touch. And for the summertime, I just paired it with this teardrop layered necklace here and then also added some floral denim wedge bow heel things. I just feel like I can conquer the world with girly whenever I wear these shoes and yeah this I just think is a really cute outfit if you had like a summer wedding to go to or a summer brunch or something I don't know but just as easily as you can wear it in the summer you can definitely wear it in the fall by doing some simple things like adding a cardigan so that it's not sleeveless anymore so this look is a bit more casual and by a bit I mean a lot but I just paired it with a much simpler necklace but still something with a bit of interest for the eye to focus on up at the neckline and then I wore this lovely little cardigan I love this thing I just think it's really interesting with the grid pattern and the cream and black and I also cinched the waist of the dress with this braided brown belt I really like this belt I think it is cute and quirky and just adds a good detail to an outfit and then I just wore some simple brown flats with some stud detailing on them so that is it for this fall look I really like it you know I think it's casual but still really really cute really sophisticated you know you're not showing too much skin but that little peekaboo Mm, love it. And speaking of peekaboos, this shirt I was so unsure about. So unsure. But that's one of the great things about Gwinnie Bee. You know, you can try things that you normally wouldn't and then figure out if you like them. So this is a cold shoulder top. It's something that I'm not used to or comfortable with because of my scars, you know. I've got some keloid scars and whatnot. But I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone and wear more things that show them off. So I paired this with with the same necklace from the previous outfit but I also added a, another necklace just to add some interest and some quirk I guess I think layering necklaces really adds a cute touch to any outfit and I just put on some nice white denim shorts nice and comfy and also some what is I don't know what like can't it's not canvas but it's some really cute wedge sandals in any case and I just think this is a really cute outfit and I was really glad to try out a cold shoulder top like this but you might think hmm how can you wear this in fall aren't your shoulders gonna be cold well maybe but thankfully I'm a very hot-blooded person so for me this would be a-okay in the fall time just paired with some jeans and yeah, it's pretty much the same outfit, just in the sense that it's the same top and then the same necklaces. So you can see there's this one, the nice dangly one, and then the cute one that kind of echoes the diamond pattern in the shirt. And these pants are so super duper comfy. I really like them. A nice dark wash, especially in the fall, I think is really fitting. And then just to add a bit more quirk, I love a good quirk, I'm wearing these cat 
matte flats. So here you go. Here is my fall look with that diamond cutout cold shoulder top. I think it's really cute and like I said, I was really happy to be able to try out a shirt like that that I normally wouldn't. And moving on, we've got a dress that I really liked on the model. I wasn't sure it was going to work out on me and it's not my favorite on me, but I still do think it's a really cute dress. It is so, so well made, you guys. Like on the right person, this is just going to be absolutely perfect, but it's got this really nice colorful plaid pattern and so I just paired it for the summertime with this nice crystal, it's not a crystal, I don't think you could technically call it, but really nice dangly necklace to tie in with the purple. I also belted the dress because there's a lot of material to this dress, so I needed to give it some shape. And then I also put on these bunny flats. Can you tell I like a good animal shoe? But yeah, the dress, like I said, it is really fun. I love that the lining is a different pattern. I love how swooshy it is. It's got big comfy pockets on it. I love the high-low detail to it. I just think it would look better on a bit taller of a human being than myself. But to make it fall, I paired it with something that I think screams fall, and that is some knee-high boots. So I just put on this silver necklace just to tie in with the other silver details of the outfit. Like this belt, it's got the moon and stars on it. I think it's really cute. And like I said, there's a lot of material to this dress to make it so swooshy so belting it is a good idea if you ask me and these boots are beautiful knee-high boots I really really love them and I just think you know with this kind of a dress it's just kind of a cool look to have on some knee highs underneath I mean you could wear whatever boots you want I just think knee highs scream fall and you guys I saved the best for last look at this dress I need this dress in my life right right Oh, oh, OMG. I absolutely love it. I did not think I was going to love it as much as I do, but I love the flutter sleeve. I love the lace detailing up at the top of the back and the top of the shoulder. I love the cinching at the waist, the big zipper going down the front. I love the huge baggy pockets, the way that it drapes and pleats. It is so flattering, so cool, so pretty, you know, just the way that the pleats and everything hug the body. Ugh. I love this dress so much. So for the summertime, I just paired it with this beautiful tiered necklace and then also some canvas wedges. I love these shoes so much. They're super duper comfy. I've had them for years, but I just think it ties in with the whole necklace and print and everything, the color combo. It's simple but lightweight and just beautiful. I can't say enough how much I love, love, love this dress. And to make it fall, super duper easy to do. One of my favorite things to do regardless of the time of the year is mixing patterns. And you might be like, Cassie, I don't see any pattern mixing going on. Well, just wait. It's all in the details, my friends. So I have on the exact same necklace from the previous outfit. I just think it's beautiful and goes well with the dress. And the pattern mixing is that I have polka dots on my tights. So the polka dot mixed with the print of the dress, I just think it's really cute. And also these boots, I love these little ankle booties. I got these for Christmas a couple few years ago and they have done me so well. I just love the black and the brown together. It's a really neutral palette in the dress and everything. You could wear it so many ways but I really love the couple of looks that I was able to come up with and I love this dress. Can I say it again? I love it. Alright, so there you go. Those were the outfits that I wanted to show you guys how I would transition some Gwinnie B pieces from summer to fall here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you maybe got some tips, tricks, or just inspiration in general and how to just stretch your wardrobe to maximum capacity. I love being able to wear my clothes year round rather than just being like, I can only wear that in fill in the blank season, you know? Gwinnie B did provide me with a personalized link to sign up for their service down below if you want to go ahead and sign up through me. It doesn't earn me any kickback or anything. It's just so they can see how many people went to them through my video. If you want, they've got a 30-day free trial so you can go ahead and sign up for that if you are plus-sized and looking for a clothing subscription service. I would highly recommend Gwinnie B. I have had nothing but a good experience with them. So yeah, like I said, the link is at the top of the description box down below if you want to go ahead and check them out. So if you did enjoy the video or found it helpful, 
helpful, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!